Hello everybody and welcome to another of my videos on Dungeon Crusher Soul Hunters. Uh, I just had a request uh, to make a video on doubloons, uh, also known as the Auction House, and then also pay-to-play uh, heroes. And so I don't know exactly what he means by that, but uh, I will show what I know about them, uh, about what I think uh, he is asking for, or she. Um, so let's start with the auction house. Um, the auction house came in, I don't know, maybe a year ago. Uh, and it's, uh, it's a place where you can go and sell all of the stuff that you don't want and you hope somebody else does want, just like eBay. Um, and then what happens is you get these here, these doubloons, and then you use doubloons to purchase other things that you might want. So let's take a look about a, uh, a couple of the features. I'm going to start with the wish list because it's, you know, smaller. It doesn't take as much time. So what you do is you go in here and there's all kinds of items that you can throw in for your wish list. Um, and so you pick what you would like to purchase. Um, and then what you do is I, uh, so let's say I want maps. Okay. Um, so I want a map. And then um, I enter in the price that I am wanting to pay. So the minimum price that you can pay is 1,000 doubloons for it. Okay. And so if I did multiple ones, so if I did two and I put in 1,000, then down here the total price would show 2,000. And then it takes it out of your account right away. And then if somebody posts a map for sale using that, price then you get first shot at it as long as yours is the top wish amount so i will show you what that looks like here in a minute when i go into my lots um let's go into my lots right now so when i go in here uh and i do use this to sell stuff occasionally um what you do is again this is all the stuff that you can sell from your personal inventory uh out there Okay, so you can sell guns, you can sell mythical equipment, you can sell regular equipment. Um, you can sell your different types of bars, you can sell your essences, um, summons, items. You can sell your vegetables that you got during veggie week. Um, you can sell crafting items. Like this stuff up here. And then, uh, of course, you can sell cooler things like maps and your chests, voids, bottles, demon horns, bugles, gelja horns. Um, and so, basically, if, if you're wanting to do free... If you're wanting to be able to get stuff without paying for it in game this is the way to do it um, and so you'll find people who need this stuff like for instance when I was going for Santa and the pumpkin duke uh, and I needed uh, lots of bombs I had to go out and create craft a bunch of bombs and in order to get that I needed crafting materials so I found people that I knew um, that you know were friends of mine and uh, they sold me whatever crafting items I needed. Um, mostly these here and these. And then um, some other things like um, uh, these here, the, the desert sand samples. Um, and some other random things that I needed, like frost. These things, frost berries. Um, but anyway, so what they would do is they'd put them up and then I'd buy them on the auction house. And um, then I would trade them uh, voids or demon horns or bottles, whatever I really needed to do. Um, so this that's what you do for the auction house. Um, you can buy doubloons. I'm going to back out real quick and then I'll get into the search. You can buy doubloons um, under currency here. 
uh, so you can buy a thousand doubloons for one void. Um, starting off on a new server, that is definitely something you should probably, I mean, you could probably do because you've got to get the doubloon somewhere, right? And so, um, with that, I, when I started server 12, I went ahead and bought one, one set of doubloons. Um, and now I'm like making doubloons, so I don't need to, to do, um, purchase anymore. Um, I don't do a whole lot of auction housing, but when I do, it's basically because I need something, right? Or when these prices get really crazy like this, um, I've seen these these shards of the voids go up to almost 4,000 doubloons each, and so I took advantage of that. Right now they're at 2250. Uh, let's see, this is week two, so next week, week three, these will probably jump. Um, Shard of the Voids will probably jump up in price because it's Kolazar week, and then on Rune week they jump up as well. But, more importantly, maps. So maps right now are at 1400 apiece. Um, 1450. And so, um, people want to sell them uh, if they make them. Uh, probably mostly the whales who don't need them. Um, they can go out and buy them, and I know that uh, a guy that I play with, he's trying to get 300 maps for an event in April, which is about three months away. Um, and so he's buying maps as much as he can. Um, and so I can sell one shard for 2250, and I can get. Uh, a map for that. So basically it's, um, I don't know, it's about three three maps for every two voids right now is what the current exchange rate is um, on purchasing those. But even more so than maps, you can also get um, blueprints. Uh, doesn't look like there's any out there right now. Or raven, tusks. Um, which are the next two steps in the maps. Um, and, of course, they're going for a little bit less. I don't. I still don't understand why they're so close like that, because you're missing out on two steps of the map. And then, although they're not too... I guess they're not too bad, but... Uh, and then... Then you have peach seeds and trent seeds um, at a thousand apiece, which really isn't that bad. Um... So you can purchase those. Now, the other thing is, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. So you can do mythical equipment on here. Um, you can sell those. So if you craft these, you can try to sell them. And the way I would do that is I would go in here and I would type in mythical... Uh, let's do necklace since it's right there. So I would type in mythical necklace and I would see how much they're being sold at. Right, so you can get a level one for a hundred, a two fifty through uh, more two fifties. Uh, looks like a level three is going for five hundred. Okay, and I'm scrolling down, so there's no more um, no more out there. So there's no level four necklaces out there. Maybe I'll sell one. Um, all right, so level level three goes for five hundred. So let's back it up. Let's go into my lots. Let's create one select um, let's scroll down looks like I don't have any necklaces um, oh here there level 4 mythical necklace uh, I'm going to save mine because you know whatever uh, here I'll put one of these out there though so um, we saw that the one was out there for four, uh, for 500. So what I would do is, oh, well, I guess that's the minimum price. Um, let's say it was out there for 500 and it wasn't the minimum price. What I would do is I'd put in a, a price at 499 to try to get mine sold, right? Um, I wonder how much I would get for a level four. 
thousand. Okay, that's not bad. So that's the same price as a void if you purchase it. Um, but I'm gonna use those for crafting my uh, my rubium uh, here in a little bit. Uh, but let's say you know I want to sell one of these voids, right? So I put one out there. Uh, we saw that it was at 2250. So what I would do is I'd put 2249 just to be um, one less than the other one, make mine more enticing. And you can see here when you put up your items, it shows what the offers are out there at. So somebody will buy a void for 1710 right now. Uh, so if I was doing a wish list, I would want to put mine in at 1711 to make sure that mine was higher than that, depending on how bad I wanted them, right? Um, so then the other thing is, uh, not only does it give you your minimum price, but it also requires a deposit, and uh, then they take commission off of it. So the deposit itself uh, varies uh, in the number of bottles. The riskier the item, the more they, they put out there for the higher the price for the bottles, because they just don't want a whole bunch of crap sitting out there that nobody's going to purchase uh people are going to purchase shards so the deposit is better what the deposit does is um it ensures that you're not just putting random stuff out there for kicks and giggles um because there is a cost if your item does not sell or you cancel it you lose your deposit and uh it when it does sell you get that deposit back so if we close that well, let's select an item like you know this um Nobody really wants those, so the deposit price is 25. Um, I know there's some higher ones in here too. Um, that's only 15. Um, that one's 25. So I mean, you 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 can see what they might be. Uh, let's try a piece of. Let's try one of these. 25 again. I've seen uh, the deposits up to like 100 uh, or 200. I can't remember what it was though um, at this time. Um, what are tickets? There you go. So tickets are 100 because nobody really wants tickets. So if you're going to put them out there, it's a risk. Um, and then... Uh, what else do we got down? Guns. A hundred deposit as well. So, and it really just depends because I put, uh, <laughs> I saw one day that there weren't very many guns out there. So I went ahead and put some guns out there and I was charging like 1400 per gun. And I got it uh, for like five or six different guns. So I did really, really well there. Um, but again, you know, the whole point of this is to be able to put stuff out there that people want, um, not that's garbage. And so like on the server 12, when I was out there, there were a lot of people putting, um, I even, I did that a little bit too, but putting items out there like uh, level four swords or level five swords. And they would put them at, um, Hold on, I don't know. Just want to do one. Uh, they were putting them out there, so minimum price is five. I I put them out there for a hundred, maybe two hundred doubloons, and people were buying them because they really needed them to upgrade their heroes, and uh, so that they could be better on the server. Um. Right, so it's so a 100. But then the other thing is if you put yours at too high of a price and you just wasted 25 bottles. Bottles can be an issue on a newer server like that. However, like here, I mean, I've got, what, 8,600 bottles there. So um, it's not a huge deal for me to be able to waste 25 bottles because I get lots of bottles. Um, so that's what uh, that's what you get for doubloons. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer those in the comments below. But in the meantime, let's talk about pay for heroes. Um, so there are different types of heroes that you can pay for. Um, 
either with cash or with uh, items. Um, there are like five or six heroes you can get with emeralds uh, at the start of the game. Those are pre pretty self-explanatory. You just save up enough emeralds and then you can get them. Uh, those are, uh, I can't remember exactly who they are, but like Dalek and Grimborn and... Um, uh, oh, uh, Feral Heart. Uh, he's pretty key when you start the game. Um, you know, I think you buy him for four emeralds and then he helps you until you can level up Ina, um, or Nushkillian. Uh, let's see, who else is a pay hero? Sun Z is, um... There's Dalek. Uh... Sun Z was one of them, and I don't know. Not justice. Yeah, I can't remember anymore. Um, but you know, there's four or five of them, and uh, the maximum is the biggest one is Sun Z, and I think he's 500 emeralds. So, um, you can purchase those. Uh, some of the other heroes that you can get by spending commodities on them are these Arbiters. Um, Arbiters are hard to obtain. Um, I'll show you real quick. I mean, I've got 8,000, so I will... The way to get Arbiters and or Judges is to purchase... Here we go. Uh, so, first of all, Shards. Um, will help you get some of these heroes. All of these heroes you get by um, buying shards. Uh, so those are kind of pay, but it's not actual cash. Um, but this is how you get some of these better heroes that you need. There is a way to craft all of these guys as well, um, but that can get expensive as well, depending on what you're doing. Um, and then... Uh, then there's these bottle packs over here, 40. So the 40 ones are part of your like daily bonuses or daily quests. And so you can spend one of those or two of those, and then it'll give you your 40 bottles back, which is nice. But these other packs, um, don't buy them. Don't buy them at all. They're not worth it. Um, yes, you can get all of these cool heroes like that, but... Spending, it's the same thing as buying this one, um, but you're using a lot more bottles, and you may not get anything good. And so these bigger ones here, I just, I, I wouldn't buy. Um, there's no way I would spend all 4,500 to open 150 chests to maybe get some of these guys that you can get using your other shards, your emeralds. I mean, you get those same ones over here, right? The only one different is like Alamet. Or no, you can even get her. See, look, you can get all of these guys through these emeralds ones, and they don't cost you anything, and the emeralds are easier to come by. So um, don't waste your bottles on these packs here, these four. However, this one, this one is what you're going to want to use bottles on eventually, okay? So in here, um, first of all, you're going to see uh, a bunch of different things. You have a chance at getting Aurora and Razel and Elder and Zeus, Micklin, Impu. Here are the two that you're really going for, though, okay? Arbiters and Judges. I've never gotten a Judge out of this. Uh, I have gotten multiple Arbiters and um Arbiters then once you have all five of your arbiters or even before that if you really want to but you get better bonuses for get for the arbiters than you do for judges um, After you get all of your arbiters Because um, they give you a 25% event bonus uh, Event point bonus per arbiter uh, Judges only give you 5% um, And these aren't really very helpful except for maybe the blue judge and the white judge and the base judge So maybe three of the six um 
arbiters, however, are very, very helpful. Um, not only do they give you bonuses here, like I said, for the points and for your influence and your science, but uh, the green arbiter is one of the best buffers in the game because he increases your proc chance for all of your special abilities. The blue arbiter is great for dragon draft because he's silencer um, and he helps silence your enemies. And then there's the white arbiter who does a 35% buff uh, to your stats. So those three are very, very helpful. Um, the base one is not helpful and uh, neither is fire um, or life um, or darkness. So fire, life, darkness, not life. Fire, darkness, and the base one are the three that are not good. Life is nature and that's the green one, which is really good. Okay, um, so what you would do is then, you know, you save up a whole bunch of bottles and then you just buy a pack. And it can be expensive. I've known, before I even open this, guys, I want to let you know that I've known people who have gone through 100 or more packs without ever getting an Arbiter. So it is risky, um, which is why you don't want to do this with all of your bottles. But, you know, every now and then if you save up a whole bunch of bottles, go ahead and try some. Um, or I've known some people who will save up, you know, you want to have a, a healthy stash of at least 5,000 bottles. But if you save up 8,000 more than that, you could do 10 packs. And so I'll do one pack here. And here's why it is so frustrating. You waste 800 bottles and you get Tikla Nezla. That was 800 bottles of waste for N Tikla Nezla. Uh, I got 300 shards, but that's not going to do anything for me, right? So you have all of these heroes here, all of these heroes. None of these are really going to help you out because you're probably going to have all of these heroes by the time you even start opening these, or you really should anyway. And then the rest of these guys are really what you're after, but the percentages of getting them is very, very low. I'll do one more. And I got Animal Dragon, which is not very helpful. So I'm going to stop wasting bottles now. Uh, eventually, I'm going to save up a bunch more bottles, and uh, I'm going to go for um, I'm going to go for the last few judges. But uh, right now, I spend my bottles on other things. Now, here are the pay heroes that I think that my viewer is talking about. Uh, so there's there's a bunch of them here, and we'll go through them. These whispers, um, these are terrible. Uh, they're a waste of voids. Do not get them unless you're OCD and or have lots of money that you just want to throw out the window. Um, I use these guys for the mines. That's it. And so, you know, it's it's a waste. Uh, I don't know how much they are. I think this is one, three, and five. So that's eight voids on these guys. So $80 here in the U.S. Uh, for heroes you're not going to use. Um, now, this is where you start getting into the good heroes that you really need. Uh, Aurora, I mean, she's pretty good. Uh, she does a buff where it increases the HP of all allies by 100%. She costs uh, three voids. Um, next, you have this guy. I believe he costs five voids. And um, I don't really use him for anything, but he does give you two guilds per day and a mythical orb. Mythical orbs are used on crafting, you guessed it, mythical equipment. Uh, Elder, I've seen him used sometimes, but I don't use him. And again, he just gives you the two guilds and the mystical orb. Oh, by the way, these guys also grant, uh, this is a science bonus. And then if you have all three of the angels, you get um, an increase of 75% to your science. Okay, so all three of those. So you're, again, looking at three five that's eight plus another i think he's eight maybe i don't i don't know um i mean i could switch servers and find out here let's go ahead and switch servers i do not condone the name of my clan being drunk uh, or drunken sailors. That is not uh, me saying that it's okay to 
drink or anything like that. I just joined it because it was the only English speaking one at the time. Um, all right. Why? No, I don't need to be in there. I need to be over here. Okay, so, uh, oh, I already got him. Sorry, my bad. All right, uh, so I already bought him. So I think, I don't, again, I think he's like eight, maybe, maybe six, seven. I don't remember. But anyway, uh, so it does cost a little bit of investment. Um, you're looking at eight here plus eight more, so 1660 bucks just to get these guys. Then you come down here to Zeus. So this is pretty good. He has his uses, um, but here's what you really are looking at. You get 25 bottles per day when you open it up and two emeralds per day. Um, plus a guild or five emeralds and two guilds. And then you get a piece of equipment. Equipment, who cares about the equipment? But in addition to that, uh, again, you get some science bonus here of 100%. And then the next thing you're going to look at right here, you get an event weekly rating a bonus of 50% if you have all three of these gods. Okay, Zeus, Lord of Miklin, and Impu. Um, and so here's Miklin. Um, I think Zeus is 20. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, 20. So that's 200 bucks. This one's 30, 300 bucks. I'm guessing Impu is 40 or 50 something like that and so you'll get 75 bottles from this one you get 50 bottles here and 25 bottles there so you're going to get 150 bottles per day with these guys that by itself is going to pay for itself in your daily bosses so when you do your daily bosses you can do three per day first one's free second one's 50 the second one or third one's 100 so um, that's 150 bottles a day so if you have these three guys, then it saves you your daily bottles and um, it, it evens out. Now, the next one you get to is Caramel. Um, he is not very useful except for his bottles. Um, I've seen people use him in League, but I, I wouldn't do it. Um, but you get 75 bottles for him per day. I believe he's like 50, 70, something like that. Um, uh, voids. Uh, Sir Gra Sir Grazoth. Um, I don't use him in anything either. I think some people do, but not me. Again, you get 75 bottles from him. And then um, you can see down here also that if you have all four of the demons, then you get a bonus of 50% to your weekly rating. Um, the thing about, though, is these ones that are useless, um, you have to buy them to get to these other ones that are not useless. Uh, so you have to buy Zeus to get Micklin. You have to buy Micklin to get NP. You have to get all three of those before you get here. Same thing with the angels. You got to start with Aura. You got to buy all of these in order to get to these in order to get to these. Okay. So uh, Agazots is. I went ahead and spot went went to him. I believe his is uh, a, a hundred voids. So that's like a thousand bucks. Um, I wound up getting him because of his abilities. So his attack abilities deals a massive attack based damage to five random enemies with a power of 80%. Okay, ho hum. But then the attacker enemy, the attacked enemy can no longer use abilities. That's what you really need. And so for your, your end game decks, that's or your mid to end game decks, that's what you're really needing so that you can silence um, so like when you're fighting the Raven Tusks, uh, for the maps, you need to have Agazots or Munis, uh, which is the top boss in order to, um, in order to kill those, uh, efficiently. Okay. And so then Agazots and Kozinch, uh, I don't use this either, but, uh, you know, it's a hundred bottles per day. So you get a hundred from him. And 100 from him, that's 200, 75, and 75, so that's 150, so that's 350 from them, 150 here, so that's 500 bottles a day if you have all seven of these. Um, now, again, you can use your auction house to store up voids, 
to get these so that you don't have to actually pay any money. It'll take a while. You'll grind it out, but eventually you could get there. Um, and so that's one way to do it. Um, and then you get down to these gods. I do not have these gods. I don't know if I'm going to get these gods. Uh, they are very expensive. It's $2,000 per god. Uh, so yeah, quick math, $2,000, nine of these. Yep, that's $18,000. Um, that's a lot of money. Uh, and so, but each tree has their bonuses, right? And so each one of these guys gives you 125 bottles per day, plus the emeralds and the gills, which are negligible by the time you get to this level. But here's what you really want to do. This very right branch, uh, those three, give you an increased number of points received for the royal hunt. So the hunt. If you're in a lair clan, you can do these. Um and you get a 25% bonus to the points, which helps you get higher rewards, okay? Plus, again, all of these guys give you weekly event rating points. So all of these, all of these give you weekly event point bonuses, okay? Now, this middle branch here, the Scandinavian gods, um, they give you the Seal of the North, which increases your weekly rating points by 50%, okay? Uh, so that's, that's not bad to have. Um, if you're going for some of those top spots. And then this one, this is the one that I would probably go for if I did. And this one gives you a 25% bonus to the siege points that you receive. Um, so, I mean, that's it's good to have. But is it $6,000 worth of good to have? Uh, I can tell you that she's a really good attacker. She's a really good attacker. He, these two are both really good attackers. They're both used in all of the layer fights that I see. Uh, so a lot of people will get these guys. Um, especially if you're a head of a clan where they're paying you 17 voids per week to be there and you have 40 people in your clan. That's a lot of voids. Why not buy all of this? Um, but you have to be really cool to be able to even get people to do that. So those are the pay heroes, um, and then you can also buy these for your layers and your clans and your clan mines, uh, your uh, castle fights, things like that. Um, but, you know, unless you're going to be a serious contender, you really don't want to do that. And if I understand correctly, after you buy the first one, they increase in value until you get to full price. I've not bought any, so I don't know. But those are all the pay for heroes uh, that you can get in this game. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, and thank you for the suggestion uh, to my subscriber. Please tell all your friends about this so that they can be my subscribers also. And they can watch the bald fat guy do cool things. Um, have a good day. God bless you. And thanks for watching my videos.